So very good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. This week I'm delighted to say I've passed my A2C of C, that's Certificate of Competency, to meet the necessary regulations required to fly my DJI Mavic Pro and meet the necessary and relevant regulations. So I'm absolutely delighted with that and thought this afternoon I'd come out, take the drone up for a spin and see what sort of images we can capture. So very conscious that we are still in this stay at home regime and travel is restricted to remaining local. So decided this afternoon to come out onto Lickershaw Country Park, to which unbelievably I've never been before. So if you look on Google Maps, you can see that it is just the mining remnants. It's the slag heaps, the rooks, and I would never even thought of coming up here until I happened upon the fact that they'd actually regenerated this area and turned it into a country park full of wildlife uh, and much interest as well. So as you can see it's absolutely beautiful. These wetlands are just gorgeous habitat for wildlife and hopefully make for some interesting photography as well. I'll just show you around the area a little bit more as we fly the drone over the wetlands. Absolutely beautiful up here and I can't believe I've never been. So when you look at the ingredients for an image, you think about those four main components, subject, light, composition and timing. So taking the compositional element in isolation, there's a wide variety of factors that influence how you put an image together, including, for example, leading lines, visual weight, negative space, how the image tells a story or conveys a mood or feeling. But in today's film I'm going to focus purely on lines, shapes and patterns and how utilising these in the landscape can shape your images and produce at times some quite abstract photography. We're going to take the drone up high now, obviously with these reeds in the foreground. They could make for an interesting top-down drone shot. So we'll just get the drone up, turn that camera, get the gimbal pointing down, get overhead and take that image. Whilst having a look around and about with the drone, having taken it up, I've just spotted the marina, the wharf down at Pennington, and reminded me of the boats, the canal boats and barges that are moored down there. And again, that's very much potential for a shot composed of repeating shapes, patterns, lines. So I'm going to take the drone down there, fly along the canal, and see what we can capture. So here we are down at the side of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal taking the drone along the canal heading towards the wharf at Pennington. Lovely afternoon. So we're going to take the drone up, get the drone up high and then rotate the gimbal down pointing straight down, get that classic looking down shot and get that image, put that one up for you and see what that one looks like.
Okay, so we've come just a couple of miles from the wharf where we've just taken that last image and it's not the most glamorous of sights. It's a, a sewage works right next to a solar panel farm. Um, good spot on Google Maps. Very, very, very useful tool for spotting aerial photography opportunities. And so I've come down here to get the drone up and take a couple more images. So we'll just get the drone into position here above the solar panels. Obviously we've got the rectangles, the repetition of the patterns. Take that image and see what that one looks like. So that was the classic top-down shot. If we just bring the drone in from my left-hand side, bring it over, keeping it a bit lower this time. And try a shot, yeah. a bit more head-on. And try that one and see what that one looks like. So I am now flying over the sewage works, as you can see. The arms rotating there on the sprinklers, I think they are. And 100,000 seagulls feasting. So again, this time we have large circles. Again, get up high, get that classic looking down shot and take that image and see what that one looks like. So we've got the drone down now and uh, captured those images. Get those back into post-processing and see what they look like. You, of course, will already have seen them, so hopefully they've, uh, they've come out okay. So my channel aims to inspire you to get outside into nature, into the countryside and enjoy the landscape. And hopefully share my experiences, opinions and thoughts on photography. So I hope you've enjoyed this afternoon's film. Hope it's given you some ideas and some inspiration. So I'm ending this film 12 months after we entered lockdown 1.0, just as we're on the cusp of hopefully exiting lockdown 3.0. So everybody take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and until next time, goodbye.